So here we are at the reflecting pool by the Lincoln Memorial. And I have to say that this is my first trip back to DC since 9-11. And there goes Marine One. That was Marine One that just went past there. No, that has the president in it. Or should have the president, unless it was somewhere for service or something. So, I have to say I'm very saddened being in D.C. because the entire city has participated in the false flag terrorism theater. And I understand that's where all the money is, but literally all of the public institutions that you used to be able to just walk into, no problem, the rotunda at the Capitol, the White House, the Supreme Court, even the Library of Congress have all taken steps to restrict public access. All these taxpayer funded institutions and buildings that you can no longer get into, but yet here at the Lincoln Memorial, the site of so much freedom of our country, it's still wide open to the public as it should be as all the aforementioned should be. I mean, the Library of Congress really is the ultimate kick in the balls to the middle class of America, where you can no longer go into the main reading room, which is sort of the iconic feature of the Library of Congress. Um, the great thing about public libraries is the access the public has to them where they can just walk in, anybody from the public can just walk in. And that harkens back to a time when libraries were very restrictive and only certain people from society could have access to the knowledge that laid within any given library. And such as the scrolls of Alexandria, as mentioned in Hollywood movies. But libraries really were restrictive and public open libraries is a fairly recent thing in human history and it's just heart crushing and soul crushing that the Library of Congress has decided to restrict public access. But here at the Lincoln Memorial, wide open baby, exactly like it should be, exactly like we are as a country. It actually is heartwarming to see a public building in DC actually open to the public. Very unusual these days.